Hello, in this quick tutorial we'll be going over how to use Windows Management Instrumentation through VBScript. In this video we'll be introducing Windows Management Instrumentation. We're going to provide some examples of the usage of Windows Management Instrumentation and we're also going to review a sample script that shows you what you can do with Windows Management Instrumentation or WMI. Here's the sample script that we'll be going over. Um, but before we do that, I would like to give you a brief understanding of what WMI is. In the simplest of terms, WMI is a tool that you can use to manage Windows systems. It allows you to access different server operations, allows you to provide both configuration and reporting on those systems. And it's a it's an easy way that you can access those resources through a a relatively simple scripting language. Kind of know what it is. Let's uh, go over the script here. First off, before we actually start looking at the actual code that is in the script file, let's go ahead and just try to run it. Here is the script file right here. When I run it, you don't really see a whole lot going on. You just see a couple Windows boxes pop open. Click OK and that's pretty much it but what is really happening here is we're doing an inventory we just created this text file right here and this text file is inventorying the different applications that are installed on my computer so let me go ahead and blow this file out and We'll just keep it open over here off to the side so you can see it. I'll go ahead and run it again. You can see the file being created. Click OK. And then you see the script is completed here. So now we have this file. Also what this script does is if we run it again, it tests to see whether or not the file exists. If it does exist, it appends to it. So the initial time that we have here, we have have the first time we ran it in here we have the the information that we gathered from it but then also here's the second time that it, it ran and we see here appended inventory we have computer name the date it was ran and a list of the different applications that were installed okay so let's go ahead and look at that script and for the most part it's pretty much like any other script it starts out that way anyways we have option explicit that tells us that we have to define every variable that we'll be using in the script and here is the list of our variables that we're defining kind of a large list um, here we go right here where we're taking one of the variables that we have defined here and we're telling it to access this registry key and we're doing this just basically to pull off the computer name that is on that computer and then here's my file and this is a variable that we're using to tell the script where the file needs to be created at where it's located at so it's right here right on the C drive within a folder called my test and as you can see here that is exactly where it's located at and then we have a couple constants defined variables that we have defined in here these variables will not change throughout the entire um, execution of the script so we have allow writing and allow pending these are two different settings when you're working with file input and output and HKLM this is uh, this is used to access the HK machine registry key okay now we have some other variables here right here this line here is where this is where we're creating a file system object so this is being used to actually create the object that we'll be using to create this file and this is also used in conjunction with this and this is where we're getting the computer name from this object shell that we're creating that we're and then we take that variable that we have defined here up 
here and we're taking the information that it pulls from here and we're adding it to this variable so this this line here is the line that allows us to get the computer name that we see right here okay let's go back to the script here and then this here this code is more used specifically for doing the WMI query that we were going to be performing now again for this we're accessing a registry key here but we're accessing the software key as opposed to the system key that we use for pulling off the computer name and within that this is where you would find the software that is installed on a computer and with that you get display name the install date of the software version estimated size and right here is where we're actually doing the WMI query where we're using these variables that we defined here and then we're using this command right here to access that WMI resource okay so now um, once we've created that object we're also going to use these variables that we have here that are all part of what we've defined here and um, basically this is all pulling information from the registry about the software that we have installed now this line right here these lines this section right here test for whether or not the file that we have in here exists or not so if the file exists then it's going to append to that file so we can see inside here that we're simply appending to the file but it's also going to have computer name all that kind of stuff listed in here and if the file does not exist it's going to go ahead and create the text file and instead of putting append at the beginning of the file that we have here we're going to put beginning of inventory and then again computer name the variable computer name that we got from up here is going to be put right here and then this this right here is just a call to the system to find out what the current date and time is so that also gets written to the file as you can see it's presented right here so all of this is written to the file using this command here object file which is the name of the file that we're creating and dot write line is what's being written to the file write line as opposed to write every time you use write line it, it creates a new line of text or a new string each time that you run write line so that is the difference between write and write line and here we're just using write line now this is where we're actually pulling information from the registry about the applications that we have installed so right here we have a for each string subkey in the array of subkeys basically this whole for loop just keeps going through the registry and checks to see what applications we have installed so it doesn't finish until it's completed going through the entire list of applications that we have and then you can see in here this is where it's pulling all those variables that we have defined here as far as string entry for the display name the install date estimated size etc that's where all of that is being pulled from when we're doing that WMI query 
now down here at the bottom here when it's all done going through the for loop it's closing that file and then wscript.echo basically just creates that pop-up window that we see that tells us that the script is complete this right here just to explain this real quickly is it rounds up the estimated size of of the application that's installed in megabytes so what that does that just basically if we look at what we have here it puts it basically in just a, a much more readable format so we have this is this is where this comes in in the play and that's pretty much it so let's go ahead and run this again one more time so you can see what happens when we run the script I'll go ahead and delete this file out again we'll run it it's telling us that it's looking for applications we click OK it tells us that the script is completed we click OK again and here is an inventory of all the applications that are installed on our on this computer right now okay that's pretty much it hopefully you get an idea of how powerful WMI is with this simple bit of code we get to see all the applications that are installed on this computer this is something that could easily be ran through a login script or easily executed by just visiting a uh, end users computer and uh, running this script and you get a quick text file that gives you an inventory of everything that they have installed on their computer alright let me know if you have any questions thanks for watching